Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of the GTM Show, and today we're doing a beverage review. Now, this time around, we're not going to be doing iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, but we're going to be doing some iced coffee that somehow we scooped up. Who knows when these were new? Either, either, all three of these say new. Uh, we scooped these at Big Lots. So, these could have been new, who knows, maybe like a year ago. But they're not expired yet, so, as we're going to have it, I don't know if we're going to say this right, this is this uh, Javalia Cafe? How do you say that? Javalia? Javalia? I don't even give a <laughs> But uh, this is iced coffee with almond milk. And normally when I'm getting the iced coffee, if I'm going to be getting it like this, it's the International Delights, they've got like a line of these. And you really do have to water them down. They're thick. They're like syrup. So um, you have to thin them out. Like normal milk, something like that. So I'm wondering if this is the same way. These are better for you. Maybe because they're almond milk. They're worse for you because we got them at Big Lots. Who knows? I'm assuming that we uh, just unscrew the cap. There's probably some kind of a safety seal there. Uh, we'll find out. But here we go. We got vanilla. We also have caramel. And we also have mocha. So we're going to be uh, trying out all three of these. So we'll start with the vanilla. Move these to the side. Uh, we're going to have three cups here. Distribute the ice amongst the cups. Oops. Oh, what's the first cup? Nothing there. All right. So pretty sure we're supposed to shake it up. Shake well. Serve chilled. Refrigerate after opening. All right. So shake it up. Cracked the lid. Oh, safety seal broke. And whoa, I thought there was going to be some sort of a foil thing that you pop out, but no, the safety seal is inside the cap. And then it's all raw dog in there. You can just start pouring. All right, let's get it in there. All right, so it's not like a milk color. That's a plus right there. It's kind of like a, it smells like sugary milk. Not even like coffee scented or anything like that. Here we go. Start with the vanilla. Yeah, it's got a nice little vanilla flavor to it. Um, also got that nutty flavor. You can really taste the almond. That's coming through too. Uh, I don't know. I like it. Yeah, I can get down with that. I think these are cheap. We scooped these for like 85 cents. Oh wow. Alright, so not a bad start. I would definitely buy that again. I'm going to give that a real high 4 out of 5. Alright, moving along to the caramel flavor. Shake it up and crack the safety seal and pour. So this one's slightly darker than the last one, just slightly. The aroma of this one, it does have more of like a caramel, kind of like a toffee kind of scent going on. Alright, here we go. Okay, this one tastes almost exactly like, if any of you had it, a few months back, maybe they still do, it's not around me anymore though, but 7-Eleven had their own line of milk, like flavored milk out, chocolate, you know, strawberry, whatever. They had a salted caramel, like a limited edition run, the salted caramel flavored milk, and this is almost spot on to that. I bought a lot of that 7-Eleven product, so um, yeah, I would definitely buy this one again. It has a nice caramel flavor. It doesn't have that salt flavor, though, that the other thing had. Uh, that's what's missing. It keeps it from being, like, totally exact. Definitely be a repeat offender of this one. I'm giving this one a 5 out of 5. Set that aside. And now, moving along to the mocha flavor, All right? Take all that in. Yeah, they've been progressively getting darker in color. And as we get to the mocha here, like the chocolate flavor, definitely darker. It's the color of our uh, public relations representative there. Okay, this one doesn't have like the strong aroma of chocolate or any kind of a roast scent. Um, the other one had like a sweetness and then like a caramel scent. And then, yeah, this one is just. Yeah, this one just seems like just a glass of milk. Alright, here we go. Mocha flavor. 
You know, I really thought they were going to knock it out of the park with this one. But, um, yeah, it's not a real strong mocha flavor. Um, if anything, it's closer to, like, a weak chocolate milk. Something like that. Doesn't really have, like, the, the mocha, that, like, roasty kind of flavor that I was hoping it would have. Like, a dark chocolate. Still not bad. I, I'd still probably buy this again. I do like these a little bit better than the International Delight ones because uh, they're not as thick and syrupy and goopy as them. These are a little bit more thinned out, uh, probably why they can drag in a lower price point on these. But I think without like a big like top five name brand on here, as far as people that represent like coffee or coffee products, coffee creamers or whatnot, uh, I think that's where they kind of missed the boat and were overlooked. What a shame. This one here, not as good as the caramel, still good. High four out of five. Alright, so there you have it. The uh, vanilla, the mocha, the caramel flavored iced coffee uh, from what I'm going to say, it's guessing here, Javalia Coffee. I would say definitely give those a try if you see them. Um, that's it, filthy cheap. You can also buy these hoodies and knucklehead t-shirts down in the description below. I'm Mr. Dirty. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the real Mr. Dirty. As always, get out of here. Go have a rotten day.